Excuse me, Henry. I need to brush my teeth. Henry? You're reading a book. Mm, it's a really interesting book. What's it about? Promise you won't tell. I promise. It's called The Werewolf Spotter's Guide to Spotting Weird Werewolves. Really? I borrowed it from Dad's bookshelf. It's a very scary book. Really? Yep. Tells you all about how to spot a weird werewolf. Ooh. Uh-oh. How long has your hair been like that? Like what, Henry? Like curly. It says here that curly hair is the first sign of turning into a weird werewolf. Does it? Have you uh, noticed any other signs? Um, what kind of signs? Let's see. Second sign of turning into a werewolf. Itchy hands. Third sign is sharp teeth. Have you brushed your teeth yet, boys? Time to brush your teeth, Peter. Yeah. If you dare. Oh. All set for bed, honey bunny. Mum, do I look any different to you? Different? No. You're still my perfect little honey bunny. So I don't seem any hairier? <laughs> Actually, your hair has got very curly. Maybe we should cut it soon. Night-night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bugs bite. Bite? Enter. Henry, I need to talk to you. What about, Peter? I think I'm turning into a weird werewolf. Well, the book does say that there's a cure, but it's very rare. Uh, what is it? Fangle juice. Fangle juice? Yes, fangle juice from the rare Fingal Fangle tree. But where are we going to get fangle juice from at this time of night? Oh, it just so happens that I know where we can get some. But it's very expensive. Two pounds. Two pounds? Well, if you want to turn into a weird werewolf. I'll get my money box right away. pocket money for the next two years because he was being so horrid. Yes, we did, Peter. Thank you for reminding me, Sweetie Pop. Yeah, thanks for reminding her, worm. Oh, I could get a job. You could pay me to do all the chores. Like putting my plate in the sink. <gasps> Thank you, Henry. Mum, didn't you and Dad say Henry has to do all the chores as punishment for his school report? Yes, we did, Peter. And you can start by finishing the dishes. Good idea, Mum. Silence, worm. Don't be horrid, Henry. I only said I wanted a remote control plane. A plane? I had one when I was a boy. Let's see if I can remember how to make one. Really? Oh, yes. I used to make them all the time when I was a kid. Ta-da! Well, that worked. Oh, but thanks, Dad. For nothing. I have to come shopping with you. Should have brought Peter. He loves going shopping with you. And he also loves happy hippos. And it's his turn to watch them this afternoon. So stop moaning, Henry, and hurry up. Well, it's just not fair. Oh, look. I'm a lady has got a sail on. 
Stay here, Henry. I'll just pop in for a quick look. Won't be long. Look! How cool is that? Oh, and how expensive. Oh, I'll never be able to afford one of those. Not in a million years. Huh. Trust mischievous Mike to get his hands on one. Eureka! That's it! Mike, wait! Yeah? Oh, I need your plane. It's an emergency. What are you talking about? I need it to, uh, uh, to rescue a cat that's been stuck in a tree. Oh, all right then. Can I just borrow it? Just for a day? Half a day? An hour then? I'll swap it for anything you want. Hmm. You still got your gross class zero comic collection? All of them, including the super bumper smelly Snotfield edition when Sam Snotfield defeated the evil Emperor three times? Oh, yeah, definitely got that one. It's a deal then. One hour only, but you'd better look after it. Oh, I will. Nothing's going to happen to it. Don't you worry. It's so easy being me. I'm Pocket money now? Mum, didn't you and Dad stop Henry's pocket money for the next two years because he was being so horrid? <laughs> yes, we did, Peter. Thank you for reminding me, sweetie pop. Yeah, thanks for reminding her, worm. Oh, I could get a job. You could pay me to do all the chores. Like putting my plate in the sink. <gasps> Thank you, Henry. Mum, didn't you and Dad say Henry has to do all the chores as punishment for his school report? Yes, we did, Peter. And you can start by finishing the dishes. Good idea, Mum. Silence, worm. <laughs> Don't be horrid, Henry. Wanted a remote control plane. A plane? I had one when I was a boy. Let's see if I can remember how to make one. Really? Oh, yes. I used to make them all the time when I was a kid. Ta da! Well, that worked. Oh, but thanks, Dad. For nothing. Why do I have to come shopping with you? Should have brought Peter. He loves going shopping with you. And he also loves happy hippos. And it's his turn to watch them this afternoon. So stop moaning, Henry, and hurry up. Well, it's just not fair. Oh, look. I'm a lady has got a sail on. Stay here, Henry. I'll just pop in for a quick look. Won't be long. Look! How cool is that? Oh, and how expensive. Oh, I'll never be able to afford one of those. Not in a million years. Huh. Trust mischievous Mike to get his hands on one. Eureka! That's it! Mike, wait! Yeah? Oh, I need your plane. It's an emergency. What are you talking about? I need it to, uh, uh, to rescue a cat that's been stuck in a tree. Oh, all right then. Can I just borrow it? Just for a day? Half a day? An hour then? I'll swap it for anything you want. Hmm. You still got your gross class zero comic collection? All of them? Including the Super Bumper Smilly Snotfield edition when Sam Snotfield defeated the evil Emperor three times? Oh, yeah, definitely got that one. It's a deal then. One hour only, but you'd better look after it. Oh, I will. Nothing's going to happen to it. Don't you worry. It's so easy being me. I'm such a baby, Henry. It's only a babysitter. <laughs> Mum tells me not to be a baby and then gets me a babysitter. How does that work? So, bye, Henry. Be good. 
Come on, Mum. Happy hippos aren't happy hippos anymore if you're late. Of course, sweetie darling. Hold on a minute. But I don't know who's babysitting me. We haven't been introduced. Hello, Henry. Oh, sorry. Have we met before? Yeah, last time I babysat you. Last time? Yeah, only time, actually. Let's just say it was a close encounter of the watery kind. Oh, right. Uh, you are here for revenge? <laughs> oh, no, I don't go in for revenge. I do like to get my own back, though. Hmm, OK. Well, just so long as I know. And there's one thing you need to know. Oh, what's that then? I'm not going to the park down the road. <laughs> Fine by me. And if you make me go, I'll... I'll... What did you say? I said, fine by me, don't like parks, me. Oh, right. Um, can I watch TV then? Don't care what you do as long as you don't disturb my music, me. Oh, can I have a biscuit? And crisps? Just Dad and me going on the tingly toothbrushes father and son day out. The perfect day. I wonder how we're doing. You're doing okay, though you'd better concentrate if you don't want to get lost. You know how Boss Bob doesn't like lateness. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Satnav. At the next junction, turn left. <laughs> mm, I'm not sure this is right. Sorry, I meant turn right. Great. Now we're going to be late. Turn left. Whee! Turn right. Whee! Left, right, then left again. This must be it. Dad, I feel sick. Perform a U-turn when possible. What do you mean, perform a U-turn when possible? I mean... I know what you meant, but... Perform a U-turn when possible. <sighs> Are we there, Dad? I don't know. I don't know where we're supposed to be, either. What does the invitation say, Peter? At a secret location, located at this secret postcode, ZZ1HH3. Well, that's a lot of help. Oh, there's something else written right at the bottom. It says, come prepared for a day of paint splodging. Paint splodging? <laughs> you should have seen your face when I landed that first splodge. Splodge? Oh, yes. That's what we call them. Splodges. Technical term, don't you know? Ah, right. Well, uh, shall we begin? Um... Is anyone else joining us? Uh, no. <laughs> you were the only ones foolish enough to accept my invitation. Uh, we were? Yes, but I like a bit of foolishness in my employees. So you'll be top of the Tingly Toothbrush's top achiever chat next week. I will? I lad, you will. <laughs> if you survive. <laughs> uh, hold on a minute. Ugh. Where did they go? That's for us to know, and you to find out. It's so easy being me, I'm Horrid Henry!
gonna play my guitar I'm gonna play all night I'm gonna be a big star I'm gonna see my name in lights I wanna go to town My friends and me We're traveling a limo Be back in time for tea But my homework is still be waiting for me And I'll call Peter Nixon so there'll be no TV Why do parents always get you down, down, down? I'm gonna be a rock star I won't need to go to school I'm gonna be a rock star I'll be living by the swimming pool I'm gonna be a rock star Just you wait and see Cause the boy on that stage will be me In the studio We'll be good to go With Root Rounds B We'll rock the show And we'll jam all night We'll be getting on down Till the morning light We're gonna fool around But I'm in my room Just stuck here again I should be on the stage I can entertain Why do parents always get you down, down, down? I'm gonna be a rock star I won't need to go to school I'm gonna be a rock star Henry, you'll have to do better than that. It's so easy being me. I'm and tonight we bring you more news of more things that are wrong with the world. Oh, for goodness sake, can't they get it right? Well, dear, it's not easy, you know, running a country. Rubbish! I could do it 
standing on my head. Well, dear. Don't you well, dear me. I can do it and that's that. Yes, dear. Don't you yes, dear me either. So that's why nothing at all can be done about it. <laughs> that's enough of that. Where are you going, dear? To get myself elected. Elected as what? President of the free world, of course. It's so easy being me. I'm
Gummy fuzzball, I win. Fuzzball? Fuzzball? You break up! That's it! Sweets! Go on! Hey! Anybody want a sweet? Sweets! Do it! Oi! Ow! Ow! One last gummy fuzzball! I'm coming your way! Go on! You know you want it! Yes! 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 Well done, Henry! You are the school's new 400 metres champion! Thing. She's going to be so disappointed in me. Here, Worm, so are this. But this is your trophy. No, this is my trophy. That's the egg and spoon one. <gasps> you took it. The race was cancelled. Why would they need it? It's yours. Oh. For two weeks' pocket money. Uh, uh... Deal! Peter! I knew you'd win again! Mwah. Henry? Oh, Henry! Mwah. Well done, the pair of you! Like Peter said, it's not the winning that counts, it's how you play the game. The winner! It's so easy being me! I'm This has to be one of the most exciting fights we've had on this show. Wherever did you find it? My, um, uh, great aunt. Well, I wish I had a great aunt as generous as yours. <laughs> yes. Oh, no! Only two minutes to go! Oi. This is an emergency! Always is! So, I suppose we should talk about how much it's worth. Well, if you insist. Well, if you'd prefer not to, tell me! Well, I'd say this has got to be worth in the region of half a million pounds! <gasps> rich! We're rich! <gasps> so, on that amazing note, it's 
it's goodbye from me. Oops. You've got to look at these. They are priceless. Look at that. Henry, this might have been worth more without the autographs. Well, take a look at these then. This one's signed by William the Conqueror. Really? But this is a gas bill. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> and this is signed by Brad Pratt. But it's for athlete's foot cream. Hmm, a very common complaint amongst film stars. I'll, um, see you later, Henry. <laughs> Georgie Fex has bought a bra. You made these up, didn't you? Might have. You forgot this one. Hold on a minute. Oh, it's all right. I'll take that one too. This, this is a crimson rose, and if I'm not mistaken, this stamp is priceless. That stamp is priceless. <gasps> We're We're
It must be strange to meet someone from the past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're really strange. <laughs> Did Henry put you up to this? He helped me come to the future. What future? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Oh, and Henry, I see you're in costume as well. You can be in the play too. No way! I'm not getting all dressed up in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I know just part for you. Yeah, Henry. I'm not doing it. <laughs> you can be the, the ugly, ugly sister. sister. <laughs> <laughs> You saved me. You're my hero. I never saved you. I got rid of the dog because... Because... Because he was going to get Mr Kill. I shouted at it to save Mr Kill. Not you. That's not true. You... You saved me. Uh-uh. I wouldn't have cared if that dog had eaten both your legs and your nose. I wouldn't have cared if... It is lunchtime, but you can't eat until after your tests, so stop ringing the bell. Oh, that's not fair! Hospitals always give you yucky jelly. I won't want yucky jelly! At least I'm missing school. That's fair. Go away! Henry, your mother said we could visit. How are you feeling? Depends. Did you bring homework? No. Then I'm fine. Good. We were so worried when we heard you'd been kept in hospital overnight. Weren't we, Margaret? You were. <sighs> Can we just give him the card? What card? The class made a card. Even I signed it. It says, Get well, hero. You're a hero, Henry, for saving your little brother. Everyone knows. You're going to take your card, you ungrateful pig. I'd rather you got me something to eat. Uh, sorry, I don't think you're allowed food. No, you're going to have a brain scan because they're not sure if you've got one. Oh, I'm out of here. Get better soon, Henry. And uh, if your parents think you should stay home for a while, that's fine with me. <sighs> what a disaster. My reputation's ruined. Just you wait. People will start calling me Hero Henry. It's not fair! And I'm so hungry! No one cares that I'm hungry but me. So I'm going to find some food. Max, go! 
You're supposed to be demonstrating your skills, or lack of, on the computer, but not like this. Oh! The computer will automatically send the results to the headmistress, and they'd better be good. Begin. Um. <laughs> Office now. It'll be double, triple detention for you. No! It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. I'm not giving away my toys. Oh, don't be horrid, Henry. No, not Spotty Dog. No. <sighs> Here are my toys, Mum. I want to share them with other less fortunate children. Well. What a generous boy you are. I'm waiting, Henry. OK, I'll find something. Now let's get this straight. I like getting. I hate giving. But for some things, I'm willing to make an exception. You're not going to give away the walkie-talkie, burpy, slurpy, teasy-weezy doll that Great Aunt Greta gave you for Christmas? Mum! Great Aunt Greta thinks I'm a girl. And this one is for my darling niece, Henrietta. It's Henry Aunt Greta. I'm a boy. Eh? No, it's not a toy, Henrietta. <laughs> it's a doll? What am I going to do with a doll? Thank you, I'll leave it. Thank you, Henry. Now, I don't want either of you to go in the living room for a while. I've got to work out the treasure map for the pirate prize. You're doing the treasure map? Here! Well, somebody has to. She's doing the treasure map here! In our house! You freak up! That's it! That dumb drencher is mine. So easy being me, I'm Set? Marbles? Ugh. Coin collection? What are you doing? Just seeing what I want when you're gone. I'm really sorry about the gold gizmo. Why? Everybody wants a gold one. But what about the curse? What curse? It's been in all the papers. Every single person who's got a gold gizmo dies a horrible death. That's not true! It is. Didn't you see about that girl? She got a gold gizmo and she fell down the toilet and drowned. <coughs> then there was the boy who was out with his gold gizmo and his dog. <coughs> and they fell right into a pit of molten lava. <coughs> and all because of the curse of the gold gizmo. Oh no! I saw it! The giant flying curse bird of tragedy! It's a sign that you are doomed! I am not doomed! Ah! 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 I'm doomed! Ah! Ah! I don't want to die! <laughs> well, if you give the gold gizmo to someone else, the curse passes to them. I suppose I could take the risk. I know you'd risk your life for me. Henry, you're the best brother in the world. <laughs> <laughs> easy peasy. So easy being me. I'm hard,
Then, Peter? Yes, Dad. Killer boy rats rule, okay? <laughs> Clock ticks, I'm feeling sick. End of another day. Smells like poo, covering goo. Nothing worse than school. Oh, looks like we've run into a bit of traffic after all. Shall I sing a song to keep our spirits up? That would be lovely, sweetie bunny hop. <clears throat> Buttercups and daisies are flowers I like. It's not fair, it's just not fair. It's horrid homework days. Make me so very happy. Ugh. I can't believe we're in this traffic jam now. This is all your fault, Henry. Did you hear me, Henry? Henry, listen to your father. <gasps> What's the matter? He's disappeared. What? Um, I think we might have left Henry behind. It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. Greetings, loyal purple Hanyang members. I bet you're all wondering why we're in the dark. Yeah, Henry. Why are we in the dark? Because all the best music videos start in the dark. Do they? I don't know. Yeah, they do. Oh, right then. Is that what we're doing? Making a music video? Yeah, we're making a music video. Oh, right then. Henry, can I? No. Mom! So, what are we going to do now, Henry? We're going to make a music video. Oh, right then. You're going to count us in then, Henry? Henry, can I? N-O spells no worm. Ready then? I don't know. One, two, three, four! It's so easy being me, I'm hard and real. So, I'm late. It's not like I'm going to 
miss anything. Yeah! Yeah! What's going on? We're going to be on telly! We're going to get chocolate. We're going to get a whole month's holiday, I hope. The Queen's coming to school, stupid! Yes, stupid. <laughs> Why's the Queen coming to school? Doesn't she know everything already? Oh, Henry, you idiot! She's not coming to school to learn. She's coming on a royal visit. Oh! Great! I can ask her how many TVs she's got. I've always wanted to know. Why? Now, according to royal protocol, only one student will greet Her Majesty and present her with flowers. And that student will be... You, Peter, because you've got more gold stars than anyone else in the school. Peter? Peter's going to meet the Queen? It's not fair! It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. Seven o'clock, Henry. <laughs> Four minutes to get dressed and downstairs for breakfast. Here are your individual timetables. Timetables? Yes. Everything has a set time. Eating breakfast, five minutes. Clearing the table, two minutes. Going to the toilet, half a minute, and so on. What about important stuff? Like watching TV? It's all on the sheet. Watching TV, five minutes after supper. Five minutes? Yes, Peter? Happy Hippos is longer than five minutes, Dad. What about all the programmes I want to watch? <laughs> You've wasted one minute of breakfast time arguing. Better get a move on. Finished! Excellent. Two minutes. So can I put the other four minutes towards watching TV? Five takeaway two is three, Henry. So it's three minutes, not four. And no, you get extra time to brush your teeth instead. Right then. Clearing table, one minute thirty. But I... Hurry up. Ready to leave in ten seconds. Henry, ten, nine, eight. Huh. Just in time. See? I knew you could do it. No dawdling, Henry. Not dawdling. Ow! Keep up the pace, boys. Four minutes thirty. Let's really push it to the limit. That was funny. Eh? Beats walking, and we saved eight minutes. Hooray! Have a good day, boys. You're nice and early. What's all this? Um, Ralph lent me some comics. Hmm. Well, don't stay up all night reading. Good night. <laughs> Hope they go to bed early. Miles away. 
Yeah, it'll probably take me all day to get there. Right. Goodbye forever! And don't touch anything in my room. Fluffy, go away! Cats aren't allowed in Africa. You'll get stepped on by an elephant. <sighs> Fluffy, go home! Hmm. Africa, Africa, Africa. Straight ahead. Brilliant. Henry! Margaret, what are you doing here? I've run away from home, if you must know. No, you haven't. I've run away from home. No, I have. Haven't. Have. Haven't. Have. Anyway, this is my treehouse, so go away. I can sit here if I want to. Can't. Can. Can't. Can. Ouch! Get off my leg. Shh! They'll find out we're running away. Well, don't think for a minute you're coming with me. You can't come with me either. Where are you going anyway? Africa. Ha! Huh, yuck! Who'd want to go there? I'm going to Susan's house. <laughs> Susan's house? That's not running away. It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. I don't know where all the plastic recycling bottles are. They seem to have disappeared. Sorry, Mum. Gotta go. Well, actually... Ow! Pinter's gotta go too! Now, you haven't forgotten that we're going out for our anniversary meal tonight, have you? Oh, this is heavy, Peter. Whatever have you got in here? Whoa! Come on, Peter, we don't want to run late. Oh, uh, bye, boys. Then help is at hand with Henry and Peter's perfect perfume. But what about some perfume? Uh, I don't know. I thought you said you'd be careful. Well, I'm being careful. You know it makes sense. <laughs> uh, who in their right mind's gonna buy perfume from you? Uh, hello, Miss Oddbod. <gasps> What are you doing, Henry? He's selling perfume, Miss. Here, in the playground. Oh, I see. And what is this perfume called, Henry? Perfect perfume, Miss. I'm um, selling it to raise money for needy children. Would you like to buy some? Oh, powerful yet understated. I'll take some. What? And as it's for charity, you keep the change. La, I want a bottle. I want two. Coming right up. You smelt the rest. Now smell your best. One at a time now, girls. Here you go, Margaret. You could do with it. <laughs> I'd rather wrestle a tiger than give you money, Henry. One, please. I said we'd be rich. <laughs> Quite the little entrepreneurs, aren't we? I'll have that. And in return, you shall both have detention after school. Oh, please. No, we can't be late. My mum and dad are going out for their anniversary dinner. Oh, dear. Double detention.
job, Henry. Oh, I wouldn't miss it for anything. Best song ever, Graham? You what? Everyone knows the best song ever is Thrash on Eggs. That song rules. Nah, best song ever is Eggs on the Brain. Best song rules. <laughs> They're both rubbish. Uh, eggs on the brain. Oh, wait, um, thrash hornets. Oh, uh, sorry. Greetings, loyal subject. Greetings, Lord High Majesty. Fresh hornets or eggs on the brain out? Well, let me say, fresh hornets is the best guitar sound. Yes! And eggs on the brain is the best keyboard sound. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> well, I'm glad to see someone's in a good mood this morning. Yes, Miss Batlux. you'd like to share your good mood with the rest of us, Henry? Uh, no, Miss Battleaxe. Did you just say no to me, Henry? Uh, no, Miss Battleaxe. I mean, well, yes, Miss Battleaxe, but... You see, Miss Battleaxe? Sit. Uh, uh, yes, Miss Battleaxe. Perhaps there's someone else who'd like to share the reason for Henry's good mood with us. Oh, yes, Miss. They were arguing, Miss. Really, Margaret? About which was the best song ever. Ah, I see. Thank you, Margaret. And then... I said, thank you, Margaret. And which song, in your opinion, is the best song ever, Henry? Um, Thrush Hornets? Is the wrong answer, Henry. There are many songs in this world of ours. Some are good, and some not so good. <laughs> I'm going to play you a selection of the songs which I consider to be the best. And one, two, three, four... Loyal subjects. Morning! My show, Worm. Go on! Henry! Henry, bedroom tidy. But Ralph's coming round in a minute. Then you've got a minute to tidy your bedroom. Starting now. 58 seconds, Henry. Oh! No! It's so easy being me, I'm Horrid Henry. Mum says it's time to get up. Mum says you have to get up now. Mum says if you don't get up right away, you will never read another Gross Class Zero comic. Never watch another TV programme. I think she means it, Henry. Right, all right. <laughs> and you'll never, ever listen to the Killer Boy Rats again. Mum says she can't find her mobile phone. What? Again? Yuck! Where is it, Henry? Where's what? My mobile. <gasps> Try the fridge? Oh, don't be horrid, Henry. <laughs> Don't be horrid, Henry. Peter's eaten all the 
the sweet tweets. Really? Well, that box was only opened yesterday. You can have some of mine, Henry. No thanks, worm. Too much milk. Suit yourself. This is all your fault, smelly nappy baby. Why is it my fault? Because you went shopping with Mum. Yes, because I'm a helpful worm. No, I... Look what I found. Oh, cool. Is that my phone you've got there? Oh, uh, yes. Oops. Thank you, Henry. I think. Haven't you left for work yet? I'm leaving right now. Oh. Thank you. Huh. Right then, who wants cereal? Me! Oh, after you, Henry. There's a good boy, Peter. Now, where did I put my time? Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking another typical morning in the Henry household. And you'd be right. It is another typical morning in the Henry household. And that's got me thinking. I present to you my parents. It's fair to say that my parents are the reason why my life just isn't fair. Of course, there's the wormy worm and old bogey brain next door. And school and teachers and rude relatives and dogs that wee on your leg. And, well, a whole load of things that mean my life isn't fair. But my parents were here first. They're always on at me to be perfect. Well, let's face it, they're not exactly perfect, are they? Even when they're not wearing silly hats, Mum's always losing her phone and Dad never knows where he's put his tie. So I thought I'd see what it was like having parents that were perfect. No! It's so easy being me, I'm Looks like a big bogey. Don't be horrid, Henry. Oh, I'm going to take it into school for my show and tell on Friday. What a lovely idea, Peter. Still looks like a big bogey. What's for tea, Mum? Stew and dumplings. Ha! <laughs> Stew and big bogeys, more like. <laughs> Henry! It was this big. <laughs> What's up? It's true, isn't it, Henry? It was this big, wasn't it? What was? The booger bogey you pulled out of your nose yesterday. What? Oh, oh huh, yeah, it, it was really, really big. Don't believe you, Henry. It's true. And when I got home, I managed an even bigger one. It was the size of a dumpling. <laughs> really don't believe that, Henry. Well, that's your problem. Yeah, it is your problem, cos Henry's still king of the Booger Bogies. Says who? Says me, that's who. And Henry, he says so too, don't you, Henry? Uh, yeah, I say so too. Settle down, everyone. If you are the king of the Booger Bogies... He is? Then prove it, Slime's not. I will. Sit down, Henry. No! <laughs> Nearly got it! <laughs> Here it comes! <sighs> Never mind, Henry, there's still time! Oh, boys! Been flitting bogies, have you? <laughs> Afraid not, sir. Hey? Still looks like a big bogey. I can't wait to take my bogus and Beatalorius into school tomorrow. Miss Lovely will be so proud of me. And I'm so proud of you too, Peter. I wonder why it's called a bogus and Beatalorius. It's called a bogus and beetleorius because it's not really a beetle. No, it's a bogey. Mom, Henry keeps calling my bogus and beetleorius a bogey. Henry, any more comments about bogies and you'll go straight to your room. <laughs> Mom.
can't. I can smell something burning. <gasps> oh, your tea! What's wrong with bogies anyway? They're not nice, Henry. <laughs> Time for school. I can't go to school today, Mum. Wherever not. Well, I've got a cough. <coughs> oh, come on, Henry. You'll have to do better than that. Um, uh, the school burned down yesterday. Oh, I didn't see any flames. Silence, worm. Don't be horrid, Henry. I can't go to school today because I I've broken my leg. Ow! Ow! Oh, the pain! Oh, poor Henry! I know it's injection day today, Henry, and you are going to school whether you like it or not. Now, let me see. B for broken leg. Just lie back and relax, Henry. I can help you. Yes, Peter. Yes, you can! <laughs> I don't want to pretend to be you for the day. <coughs> You'll get to play in the big boy's playground. Yes. Whoa! <coughs> and you'll get to sit in the big boy's class. So? <coughs> you'll get maths homework. <gasps> oh, goody! I love maths homework! Um, but... If I'm you, won't I get your injection? Oh, yeah. Uh, I hadn't thought of that. But think of all that maths homework. This is never going to work. Of course it will. Henry? Peter? <sighs> You're right. It's never going to work. It's so easy. Hey, Peter! Why can't I play on my happy hopper instead? Because it won't look as funny. Uh, I mean, good. Mum and Dad will love seeing their little Peter playing in the garden. And action! Woohoo! I did it! I did it! That wasn't supposed to happen. It was supposed to snap! Whoa! Oh. <coughs> Mum and Dad will be so proud that their little angel has learned to ride his bike. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Of course you can. Come on, Worm. Just think of the proud look on Mum and Dad's faces. Come on, Peter! Pedal! Pedal! Ha-ha! <laughs> this is just what I need! Oh, sorry, guys! Sorry, Bob! <laughs> that 200 pounds is mine! Peter! Your brakes! Use your brakes! Henry, are you okay? Do I look okay? <laughs> You're okay. Now, both of you clean yourselves up. Cousin Polly will be here any minute for tea. Woo! Goody! Brushy Polly? Tea? That's it! <laughs> what are the funniest disasters on Laugh Till It Hurts? The ones with food, of course! Very nice of you, Henry, to record Polly's visit. Well, she's my favourite cousin. Ah, she's here. Come here, come here. Oh, yeah. Not 
really. She meant Peter. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Henry, you got me! such thing as ghosts. There's something in the water. Just waiting to get me. Don't be a scaredy cat, Henry. You're not afraid of anything. Except injections. Today. Oh, yes, Aunt Ruby. It was well good. No pudding for me, thanks, Aunt Ruby. I'm going to bed. <gasps> no pudding? All that playing has tired me out. Good night, Steve. Oh. <laughs> See you in the morning. Good night, Aunt Ruby. for the most dangerous challenge of all. Moody Margaret. I am the Dark Avenger! Listen, you stupid, horrible, puny pig! You can fool your dad, but you can't fool me! I'm gonna get you, Henry, and take you to your dad, and you'll be in real trouble! I can see you, Henry! Might as well come down. You can't go anywhere. Come down or I'll drag you down. Ha! Huh. You thought you could scare me with this? Pathetic! Henry, are you in there? Henry? Have you been in your room all night? Yes. I'll start if you don't believe me. Good. That's good. Here you are, Henry. Oh, thanks, Peter. Opera. 
Decoration Halloween over and out. It's so easy being me. I'm I think Dad's really going to like having me going to work with him. Loads better than having Stinky Peter. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be really, really fine. Henry, not that one! Oh! This is not a good start, Henry. Nowhere near good. You've already been horrid and we're not even at my desk yet. But Dad, we're being cut out by firefighters! This is great! An office is a place where people come to work, not to muck about. I want perfect behaviour. My boss is very strict, so don't let me down, eh? Dad, you can count on me. Oh! Ow! You're late. Bad start. Bob knows best and late people aren't great people. Sorry, Bob, sir. I, um, hit the alarm button by accident. Dad just told a fib. Hmm. This is just like school. Henry, this is Bob, my boss. And you have to do everything he tells you. And this is Bill, his son. And you have to do what I say, too. Welcome to my brush and paste empire, young Henry. We aim to have a foaming brush in every mouth in the land. So... Take this day by the scruff of the neck, little laddie. Listen and learn. And one day you too could take orders from me. I'll try my best, sir, Bob, sir. I, I promise to listen and learn. It's so easy being me. I'm Ding, dang, dong. I'm missing Rapper Zapper. How am I going to get them to hurry up? Right. Come on, everyone! That's not a cow, is it, dear? No, that's a bull, all right. Uh-oh. <laughs> never have taken that shortcut. Fences are there for a reason. I told you the countryside was dangerous. <laughs> na, 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 na. Henry, stop it. You're making him angry. So what? He's in there. Uh-oh. <laughs> Swim in the lake. Where are the toilets? No toilets. Oh. Huh? Only joking. 
It's over there. That's the toilet. This is real camping. Oh, yes, Dad. The bonjour trees. Bonjour, birds. Bonjour. Oh. Bonjour. Oh, um, uh, bonjour, monsieur. Ah, anglais. Um, I, I think that means welcome. Hand me that pole, please, Henry. Why can't we stay at Camp La Fun? Comfy beds and hot showers? That's not real camping. Bonjour, camping! We're staying here, Henry, so you might as well stop making a fuss and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Can it get any worse? Last one in's a cowardly custard! <laughs> Come on, you two! It's lovely! <laughs> Much better than a swimming pool, eh, Peter? Much better! such a baby. You're coming in. No! Come on! A bit of mud never hurt anyone. No! I... I... hate nature! It's so easy being me. I'm Ralph! Oi! Watch out! I want a galactic Shooter. It's really cool. Green goo everywhere. <laughs> Green goo? Cool. I want one too. Next. I want a galactic goo shooter more than anything. Oh, and a boom boom basher too. <laughs> well, um... Here, this is for you, Santa. Oh, thank you, young man. That is most kind. And what do you want for Christmas? Um, I would like a dictionary, some seeds, a geometry kit, and stamps, please. No toys. I've got plenty already, thanks. What about me? What about my presents? Well, we'll see about that. Great! When grown-ups say we'll see, that always means yes! It's so easy being me, I'm I'm going to ask him for a million pounds. A parrot, a motorbike, a swimming pool, a trampoline, uh... What about you, Peter? I'm still choosing. It's Christmas Eve. You better hurry. Mom! Don't be horrid, Henry. <laughs> Toy heaven! On a board! Choo -choo! Henry, get down! <laughs> one or else Tickly 
treat the best to eat. <laughs> Let's see just how good they are, shall we, Fang? <laughs> you had me worried there, Fluffy. Henry, is that you? Oops, better go. Henry, get back into bed now. Yes, Mum. Going for a hike Goody goodies girls Anything with curls Sitting up straight Having to wait Cleaning out Fang Doing my chores Cleaning my car Is such a bore I don't want school work Any kind of work Work Don't want to do them anymore Cause when I'm famous I won't care I'll never wash Or comb my hair I'll be king Of everything King Horrid Henry it's not easy being me I don't know why they cannot see Just how hard it is to be Horrid Henry So down with school I'm gonna rule And when I'm king I'll do my thing And then my life will be so sweet I'm Horrid Henry So down with school I'm gonna rule And when I'm king I'll do my thing and my life will be so sweet I'm Horrid Henry Na na na, na na nay The purple hand gang rules okay It's not easy being me I'm Horrid Henry Don't be Horrid Henry And tidy your room, now! <laughs> 